Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Penny and my channel is Being Penny B. As you've guessed, I'm doing another makeup look, hence why I look like this. Um, I'm going to attempt, <coughs> as it's Halloween tomorrow, All Hallows Eve or Sawin, I am going <coughs> to get rid of this frog in my throat. <laughs> There's some witch must have left there. <laughs> and um, I'm going to attempt Elvira. Now, if you don't know who Elvira is, she's played by Cassandra Peterson, or she was played. Cassandra Peterson is now 72. Um, she did Elvira when she was 30 years old. She was known for um, laying on a couch in very sexy, revealing outfits, plunging necklines, having her legs out, her boobs out. Um, she's gorgeous looking, and she used to do voiceovers for horror movies, um, B-rated horror movies, and then she got her own show. She had um, The Elvira Show and, of course, the film Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Um, I used to be obsessed with Elvira. I loved Elvira back in the day, so I thought I'd do my attempt at recreating her. Now, this is going to be a makeup look, not the dress. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave this on. It's not going to be the full, um, you know, boobs out, legs out type of thing. Um, but being as I'm a lot older than she was when she started, she was 30 and I'm nowhere near that. <laughs> I thought I would do Elvira's mother. <laughs> But Cassandra Peterson, who played her, is 72, as I said, and she still does Elvira and she still looks amazing, you know, with a few extra wrinkles. So I've got the extra wrinkles. I'm just going to see how it pans out. This is Luna. She's come to watch. Say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone, my darling. She's probably going to run off with all my brushes and everything and um, create havoc. <laughs> Um, I've got two cats around you somewhere as well. So if she starts barking, that's why. Right, without further ado, I'm just going to get on to this look. I will show you the makeup I'm using as I'm doing it. I've already put some primer on. Now that's sinking a bit. So Luna's going down. Now Elvira wears um, a very pale face and I don't have a white foundation or anything as pale as her. So I'm just going to use my CYO foundation, the usual one I use. It's, I don't even know what shade it is, guys, but it's the usual one I use. So I'm just gonna use that. So I'm gonna give it a shake and put a bit on my hands. And I'm just going to apply it as I would normally. Um, I'm gonna do some in the viewfinder and some in my Jeffree Star mirror. <laughs> Uh, where is my foundation brush? I will use this one. It's by Jessup. So I'll just use this and I'll just... Needs a bit more actually. I'm going to put it directly on the brush this time. And we will see if uh, I can create a base worthy enough for Elvira's maker. So I'm just going to start blending. This brush isn't the best guys and I'm probably not going to get the smoothest finish but I just said to Howard now I brought down my makeup case but I didn't put what I needed into it so I'm missing quite a lot of items that I would need for this look. Now Elvira wears dramatic lashes I didn't bring any lashes downstairs, so I'm just going to have to make do with mascara. My eyelashes are quite fine and sparse, so you're just going to have to imagine <laughs> with the lashes. I didn't bring down a white eyeliner, so I'm going to use an eyeshadow. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wing it, basically. I'm going to do my take on it anyway, because there's no way I would get it as uh, perfect and as lovely as she does. This is just for fun, guys. I'm not taking myself seriously. Hence why I said Elvira's mother. <laughs> so we will see how we get on. Now, that is a nice base, but it's nowhere near pale enough for Elvira. I'm going to put some concealer on. Can you see? I mean, it's nowhere near as pale as it needs to be, but that doesn't matter. 
Right, let's get. We're going with this um, Poundland concealer. It's the Hide and Chic Super Size. I don't know what shade this is either, guys. But we shall give it a go. And uh, see what we can create. And the other thing that I haven't brought down is my setting spray that I normally use for applying my concealer. But never mind. Oh, I've put too much on under here. I think I'll pause you while I'm doing this because otherwise it's going to be a very long video. Right, concealer's done. My base is done. I'm going to attempt the eyes first before I do the face makeup um, because that is the main thing, isn't it? With I'm saying this, and you may not even know who Val Elvira is, but the eyes are the thing. Now, her eyeshadow, she extends right up onto her forehead. So that is on purpose when I'm doing that. I haven't sort of lost the plot and started painting my forehead. That's just the way it goes. So I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Somebody hadn't heard of Jeffree Star. He does very, very pigmented palettes. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this pink this blue and this purple actually no the bottom purple by there and a bit of the black as well and possibly the white <laughs> we'll see so i'm going to start with the pink it is very very pigmented but <laughs> yeah this is going to be fun guys because you're going to think i've lost the plot and I haven't practiced this beforehand, so. <laughs> Need a bit more. It's not actually. What if I use a bit of that in with it. There we go. Right, so using pink on the inner corner. <laughs> Luna, stop it. And then we're using pink on the outer corner. We're extending that up. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye, obviously. <laughs> and then we're going to use a blue in the middle. See, different brush for the blue. And I am using that bright blue, as I just said, for the middle bit. She wasn't really about the blend either, because the colours were quite prominent. Now this blue is more prominent than the pink. I told you I'd look a bit... Odd. <laughs> so it's going to fade out as it's coming up to the top of the forehead. And I'm going to do the other eye and then give them a bit of a blend. Just as a message there, but it swiped itself away. <laughs> Right, the same again on this eye. Needs to be as bright as that one. There we go. 
in the outer. I'm going to carry this on. You can see the gist. I'm going to carry it on and I'll be back. Right. <laughs> That's what I look like. I look like a blooming clown. <laughs> I'm going to do her crease colour now. And she uses a purple. So I'm going to use that purple there. And I'm just going to put that in the crease. But above the crease on me because I do have... Oh, I can't speak properly. I do have hooded eyes, so it's not even going to show, I don't think. So I've done it above the crease so that when you look or when I look straight on, I can see it. Same this side. I hope nobody knocks the door while I'm looking like this. Giving the bloody fight of their lives. Even the one's looking at me gone off. There. Now, I'm going to do the weird bit, <laughs> as if this isn't weird enough. She does a lot of black and she kind of extends it out and then she draws on false eyelashes onto that part, I believe. So I'm going to give that a go, guys, with some black eyeshadow, first of all. With the same palette. Oh my god. I know it's scary, isn't it? That's my wife. <laughs> We're giving it a go. As I said, if it don't work out, I won't be uploading it. <laughs> I need my mirror for this bit. Huh? Yeah, Howard wants to speak a minute too so. Right, he's spoken. I'm back. So we're gonna Pack this on. And then I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. The daughter has landed. Mm. Our daughter's been on a works conference in Turkey and the plane has just landed. She don't half get about that girl. So proud of her. Right. That looks blooming awful because of the blends, or the non-blends, I should say, because Alvira does tend to have it looking very, very dramatic and not really that blended. Like, for proper makeup, you would blend it so that it was seamless. But that does look a little bit scary. And I've got more on one eye than the other, so bear with For a bit more on the top. Like I said, just pack it on. Oh God, that does look scary. I look like, <laughs> I look like Keith from Blumin, uh, the Prodigy. <laughs> I look like the Firestarter video. <laughs> right, I need a very, very skinny brush now and I'm gonna go in with that bright pink. 
I'm actually I'm gonna mix that one and that one and I'm gonna go under the eye no I'm not I am gonna do the eyeliner first Keith, huh? Keith, <laughs> have you seen my wife? It's scary, isn't it? What's I do with that pencil? There it is. So for this, I'm going to use a crayon pencil, and basically, I'm going to do under my eyes first. <laughs> under my eyes, across my eyelid. Do you know what, guys? I can't do this on camera. I'm going to do the eyeliner first. Right, guys. I'm really sorry, but I had to go off and do the eye makeup off camera because I cannot do eyeliner and stuff on camera. I can't. So I've done the dark, um, as you can see, on the lid, the black. And then I've done a layer of black eyeliner. I've extended it up. I've come around and I've extended it down the nose. Then with the eyeliner pencil, I've drawn on some fake lashes here. I've got white in the corner and I've got the pink that I used up there underneath the eye. Can you see better on this side? Can you see where I've drawn the eyelashes? When I look up, they're not joined or anything, but when I look down, you can see them. And I've got a little bit of mascara on. I should have false lashes on, but as I said, I didn't bring any down. So it is what it is. It's just only a little bit of a laugh. It's not to be taken seriously. So I'm going to do a little bit of contour. I'm going to use a contour stick. And I'm going to see if I can get this right, because Elvira's contour is different to the colour I've got. So I'm just going to go from the top of my ear down there. And again, from the top of my ear, my hair out of the way. I don't think I've got those equal. No, I haven't. It's more there. Well, I'm going to be a bit wonky, guys. <laughs> At the moment, it looks like wall paint. I'm going to blend that in. <laughs> it's because I'm using a mirror, guys, and she doesn't like anything that shines. So I'm just going to use a... It's again, it's a Jessup brush. Into the hairline. And up. And into my temple there. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. It doesn't really look anything like Elvira's contour. But as I said, it's all I've got to hand. <laughs> And I think I'm going to use a bit of my bronzer to kind of blend that in a bit. Because it's not the best contour, guys, to be honest with you. That's a bit better. Yeah, it's much better. Much, much better. Now, a little bit of blusher. I'm going to use this one that I got from Timu on the go blush. I'm going to wind it up a bit and just put it on the high point of my cheek there I'm just going to blend that in 
with a little brush, like so. Because Elvira. The name Elvira means impartial judgment. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Oh, she keeps doing that. I was about to say Elvira liked her blush. Right, the last thing I'm going to do, is, you know what, it looks much better on mirror than it does on camera. Oh dear. I'm going to have a go at some lips. I don't have a lip pencil and a liner. Luna, shush. Shush, darling. It's all in my mirror. She doesn't like anything that shines. Do you think you can stop her? Because this isn't good for my video. Give her a treat or something. There are the lips. That's fab. As I said, I should overline them, but I don't have my liner to hand. I don't have anything to hand, guys. <laughs> right, let me put the finishing touch to this, which is, of course, the wig. I'm going to go and put that on. I'm leaving the same clothes on. I'm not going to put a plunging top on like Elvira would wear. Um, this is just all about the makeup. I won't be a second, guys. Right, guys, who's up for a laugh? I look nothing like Elvira. <laughs> but I'm going to show you because it's just a laugh and it's just for fun. Do not troll me. <laughs> now, Elvira's wig was black, this is dark brown. Hers was straight, this is curly. Hers went right down over her boobs, this one doesn't. And hers had a beehive and this one doesn't. So I've kind of clipped it, back combed it and clipped it up into a beehive. Um, yeah, <laughs> I look nothing like Alvira. And maybe if I pull my top down there. <laughs> no. I look nothing like Alvira. This isn't to be taken seriously at all. But I had a go at a Halloween look. <laughs> and I didn't pull it off. But I'm going to post it, guys, because it's a bit of fun at the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> look at it. It's a bit of fun. It doesn't matter. I had a go. <laughs> and I don't think I'll be doing it next year. But yeah, her fringe is kind of more spiky her hair is back more but i can't pull it back too much because uh, you can see the wig cap <laughs> that's not a good look so yeah i had to go it's not too bad <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching happy halloween and pleasant dreams bye